Remember the time MTV was all about music videos and not this PC crap? I don't own cable, so I can't really say. You know what you should do? You should enter the building and see what it's like. Chunky, you know that's dangerous. And we don't have the proper tools for it right now. Besides, I have a better idea. Let's just make a video response to someone I've been itching to make a video about. Lacey Green? Oh god no. We're talking about that racist girl. Oh yeah, that one girl that you can barely pronounce her YouTube name. Exactly. But first, let's hand out these anti-PC shirts to see how many feminists we can trigger. Ha! Huh, good idea. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. Now, before I begin, I would like to point out this ironic tweak she has made. How is it ironic? Because for the first time, I went to her Twitter page and found out that I've been blocked. Now, for one, I never even made a single video on her, nor did I mention her in any tweet. So that must mean that she's using the Twitter autoblock from anyone who has either made criticism about Anita Sarkeesian or feminism in general. However, it seems that she does respond in her YouTube account, so there might be a shred of hope. But I would not hold my breath. Is PC culture destroying freedom of speech? Short answer yes, long answer it's still yes. Nope. Four seconds in and I already want to strangle some kittens. From YouTube comments to presidential candidates, it seems a lot of people think freedom of speech is under attack. Well, can you blame them when they're constantly being dehumanized for daring to speak out against certain groups of people? And who might I ask is to blame? The god PC culture! Uh, was there supposed to be a curse there? If you've ever called out racism, sexism, ableism, or any other oppressive-ism, you've probably been accused of being too PC. Well, it depends on the situation at hand. If someone is being hated for being disabled, I would never say you're being too PC. But when you say things like on how things like video games somehow dehumanize women and try to make it into a male-dominated space, then yes, I would say, you're being too politically correct. PC is, of course, short for politically correct. Political correctness is avoiding words or behaviors that exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who are socially disadvantaged or discriminated against. Well, it's fine that you're against racism and ableism, despite the fact that you're extremely racist towards white people. However, I'm still gonna say, if you can make a joke about pansexual handicapped fur fags, I can make a joke about just about any group of people. Basically, treating people with respect. Now, if you ask me, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. But a recent poll by Fairleigh Dickinson University found that 68% of Americans and 81% of Republicans agreed that a big problem this country has is being politically correct. Even 62% of Democrats polled agreed that being PC was getting out of hand. Well, that is saying something, right? If they're saying that PC culture has gotten way out of hand, then something must be wrong, right? Even your own kind is telling you that. For these folks, political correctness is synonymous with weakness or being overly sensitive. Well, they're not wrong there, especially with the overly sensitive part. Similar to the new term, social justice warrior, calling someone PC is a way to derail and dismiss conversations about inequality. <laughs> Don't touch my stuff, man. Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You're not fucking welcome here. Get the fuck out of here. I know what? Well, we're gonna have an orgy I'll afterwards. I'll see you guys at work, motherfuckers. I'll see you guys at work. Why are you so angry? Both of you are all of you are motherfuckers. You're all motherfucking fuckboys. Get the fuck out of here. You see, when people like the MRA start talking about men's rights or start criticizing political correctness, we meet people on your side of the grill attempting to silence others for even daring to have a voice in the first place. 
I have yet to see a feminist who has stepped into the likes of Maya Leonopoulos and challenged him into a rational debate. Yet here you are already blocking people on Twitter for disagreeing with you. Oh, the irony. Okay, PC police, you're just offended by everything. The term PC is almost always used as an insult. While it's been around for a while, it gained popularity in the 80s when it caught on with conservatives, not liberals. So apparently PC culture has already gotten so bad that now atheists and conservatives are looking past their differences and starting to work together. Congratulations, you're officially America's number one enemy. So why is being PC used as an insult? And what, if anything, does it have to do with free speech? Here's the thing. It's not just about hurt feelings. It's about calling out oppressive power structures, and that's where the misunderstanding comes in. What's perceived as being too sensitive is usually someone speaking out against lazy, offensive language that doesn't usually get challenged. Well, once again, it all depends on the situation at hand. That's because the group of people that those words hurt historically haven't had the opportunities to have their voices heard. And the people who call that being too PC are often in privileged positions and don't want to or haven't had to think about what they're saying or the consequences that come with it. Irony alert! There are minorities as well speaking against political correctness. One of the biggest critics of PC culture is gay. And keep in mind that despite the fact that I am born in America, I am Puerto Rican. And as far as I'm aware, you have more privilege than me because you're black. You can't take away my freedom of speech just because you're offended. Well, yeah. In America, freedom of speech simply means the government cannot prohibit you from expressing yourself. It's why you can criticize Obama without being thrown in jail. Unless, of course, you disagree with certain feminists, then you can say you're harassing them. Keep in mind that Stephanie Gerder wanted Gregory Allen Elliott to be in jail for disagreeing with her on Twitter. And there's a university in Texas that charges you if you end up offending someone. It doesn't matter if it's intentional or not. It could be the word anus and you could be fined. My video can be seen in the description below. But on an interpersonal level, freedom of speech does not mean freedom from consequences. Technically, no subject on earth is off limits. You can say whatever you want, but in turn, people are allowed to respond however they want. I agree as long as under the law. However, seeing that people's feelings are now being protected by law, do you know what would happen if you end up offending someone? You could go to jail. This is the death of freedom of speech when you go to jail. The fact that you can comment means you're not being censored. If you tell a crappy sexist joke and someone says, hey, that was a crappy sexist joke, that's freedom of speech. And it's my freedom of speech to tell you that if you don't like my jokes, there's an exit on your right. And if you post some racist bullshit on Facebook and your boss decides she doesn't want to employ people who spew racist bullshit on Facebook, you still have freedom of speech. And you're free to take that racist bullshit somewhere else. America. But how the fuck did your boss find out that you're secretly racist? The only reason you would do that if you wanted to silence them by getting them fired. Look, I have no problem if someone is racist at their job as long as they do their work professionally. And if it's a private business that someone owns, it's their right to sell to whomever or whatever they want. Now, the boss has every right to fire someone if they're acting unethical in the workplace due to racism, sexism, or ableism. But not just because they are just racist. PC culture, treating others with respect, social justice warriors, whatever you call it, isn't prohibiting anyone's freedom of speech. But if you get fined for offending someone, you could go to jail, and that's not freedom of speech. You're just one step away from executing people for daring to speak out against feminism. Off with their heads! It's mainly about people standing up for themselves and asking to be spoken to and spoken about in a respectful way. In fact, political correctness is expanding free speech. We're adding words to the dictionary every year. AKA the Feminist Holy Bible in an effort to promote more inclusive and respectful speech. Last year alone, the OED added microaggressions, mansplain, and a whole host of gender terms like cisgender, agender, and gender fluid to the dictionary. Ironically, mansplain is in the dictionary, a word that limits men to speak out against women and shut them down entirely. How the fuck can you be for freedom of speech when you add mansplain to the dictionary? That seems like giving more speech to more people. No, it's not. Especially when you add mansplaining. Not less. So have you ever been accused of being too PC? Or maybe you've been thrown in jail for saying the N-word. How do you still have internet access? Tell us about it in the comments below, and we'll see you next week right here on Decoded. What the fuck? That's like saying, if people went missing, how come we didn't find their bodies? How can someone comment on a video stating they were sent to jail because of PC culture? 
when they don't have internet access. Are you saying that if people were to send to jail because of PC culture, you would deny it up front? God damn it! This is why political correctness is a poison to society. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. And don't bother flying in this video. It's under fair use.